In this art tech lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the art app called Sketchpad. And I'm going to show you how to save your work and submit it to an online folder that's going to be in your Google Classroom. So the first thing that you'll do is you'll click on this to go to the link called the Sketchpad app. Once the Sketchpad app loads, to start a new picture, what you do is you click plus sign, blank, create. I'm going to demonstrate some of the tools that you can use to make a picture, and I'll show you how to save it. When I'm finished with the directions, though, you can make a picture of whatever you would choose to make. It's up to you. Um, I'm going to start out with adding a background, so I'm going to use this little button that looks like a paint spilling bucket called vector fill. You click here. You can choose solid colors, linear colors, radial colors, and you can also choose patterns. I'm just going to pick radial. Go ahead and choose whichever one you want. And then you put your mouse on the screen and you just kind of drag it around to make your background. Then I'm going to also show you how to use some shapes. If you click on here and you go to the choices, you can choose any of these shapes right here. You can choose a color. And then you just drag your mouse to make your shape. If you want to rotate your shape, you can go to the corner, you can resize like that. So if you'd like to get different shapes, you go ahead and get the shape. If you decide you want to delete something, you can click the little arrow, click on the one you don't want, and either hit backspace or delete, and it will go away. So that's how you use the shapes. You just choose one, drag your mouse, pick a color, and that's how you do it. This is the pen. There's a lot of different types of pens or paint brushes that you can choose from. You just click on the one that you want. You can choose the size of the line right here. You can choose the color here. And then you just drag to draw. Okay. This button is clip art. If you go to the clip art section, there's a lot of different things that you can choose from. You can type something up here if you want to search for something and you just look through the different choices and if you see something you like, you can click on it. Drag it into the picture and place it where you'd like it to go. To add text to your picture, you click the text box. There are lots of different fonts you can choose from. You just click on the one you want, drag your mouse on your screen. You can name your picture and you can also put your own name on it as well. Click at the end of the text, push backspace to erase, and then type what you'd like it to say. I'm going to call mine Spring Picture. And then I'll put my name by Mrs. Holderbaum. Okay. Now, in order to save a picture, you go down to the bottom and you click here on Export. And you pick Export. I like to pick this one, Download as a JPEG. A little box comes up that asks you where you want to save your file. 
depending on what kind of de device you have, you just need to remember where you save your file. Like, do you want to save it to your downloads? Do you want to put it in your Google Drive? It's up to you. Just remember where you save it so that you can upload it to the Google Classroom when you're done. So I'll just put mine in Google Drive and then you click Save. If you want to, by the way, you can rename this before you save it. You might want to put your name on it. So I might put um, Spring Picture. And then I'll add my name, Mrs. Holderbaum. And then I pick save. Then once your picture is saved, in order to post it on the Google Classroom, you go to the Google Classroom. And now you click here on the student online work folder. Wait for it to open up. Once it opens up, you might see some other people's work in the folder. To add yours, you pick the plus sign. To add a new picture of your own, you go to File Upload. And then this is where you ha are going to have to choose the location from where you saved it. Now here's where you have to remember where you saved your file so that you can add it to the folder. Um, if you saved it in Downloads, click on Downloads. If you saved it in your Google Drive, click on Google Drive. Sometimes if you just click on Recent, you can see the file that you had just made. All you do is click on it and pick Open and then the project that you made will appear in the Google folder. That way when I come to this folder, I will be able to see it. I'm going to suggest that the first time you make a picture in Sketchpad, you might just want to do a practice picture first and then think of something that you'd really like to make to save to the folder. I'm going to let it be your choice as to what you might like to draw. Thank you and have a good time doing that assignment.